Mr. President, we're going to move on to the topic of foreign policy next. And to get us started, we're going to go to a YouTube question from Boston. Let's take a look. My name is Robert Harewald. I'm a homeless veteran, downtown Boston. And my question for Mr. Obama is, why are we sending money to places like Pakistan and other places that are known to give money to terrorism? And I don't understand that. Why are we sending money to all that when we got guys out here, hundreds of homeless, especially in D.C. That's like the biggest city with the most homeless, the capital. I'm just wondering why we're sending money over there. Well, first of all, my goal is to have no homeless veterans. Uh, and part of what I want to see happen uh, this is part of the reason why we've increased our VA budget every year ever since I came into office. Uh, one of our key goals is eliminate veterans homelessness. And the other thing is making sure that when our guys come back and our gals come back, that they're getting the kind of support and the training that they need to find a job uh, in this economy. They're, they're handling million dollar pieces of equipment and leading uh, their colleagues into uh, incredibly dangerous situations, they can make a huge contribution in terms of rebuilding America. And, and we've got to make sure that we're putting in place programs for them. Uh, with respect to the, the, the general uh, question of foreign aid, because even in, in your teaser, uh, there was a young woman who asked about that. Yeah. It's important to, for folks to understand, we only spend about 1% of our budget on foreign aid. But it pays off in a lot of ways, because if we are contributing to an improving economy in a country, if we're giving people more opportunity, if we're preventing a famine that results in huge numbers of refugees, that potentially saves us from having to deal with some military crisis somewhere down the road that could be even more expensive. So aside from it being the right thing to do as a very wealthy country, us trying to help develop other countries, it's also important to make sure that people understand uh, this is part of our overall security strategy. Uh, I do agree that uh, you know, a, a country like Pakistan uh, is one where our relations have gotten more strained uh, because there are a lot of uh, extremists inside that country and either for lack of capacity or political will, they haven't taken them all on. In some cases, they've been very cooperative with us. In other cases, not as much as we want. Uh, so we're always trying to find the right balance of making sure that uh, if we're providing them with aid, they're also providing us with assistance in terms of making uh, our people safer. Uh, and there are times where they disappoint uh, us in terms of their performance, but uh, we're going to keep on trying to engage as many countries as possible, mainly because it's good for our national security. Let's hear from a Hangout for a second. I'd be curious if anyone here in the Hangout, uh, raise your hand if you think we still spend too much money on foreign aid. Anybody? Jennifer, let's hear from you. What did you think of the President's response to Robert's question? Um, I mean, I understand, you know, what you're trying to do, and I, I agree. I don't think we should, you know, not help, but I guess when you, you see the number of people who don't have jobs and and you have a college-educated husband. I mean, how are you supposed to tell your children? I, I just, when you see the hurting and you see the homeless, it, it's just, I guess, hard for Americans in the middle class to grasp why we do give as much as we do. Yeah. Um, no, I, 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 I just... Yeah, I, I, I understand sort of uh, uh, the, the source of frustration, but I think it's important to remember, Jennifer, like I said, we spend 1% of our total budget on foreign aid. So, uh, some folks think it's like 25 percent. I mean, it's a very small portion. And most of the foreign aid we provide uh, is to countries that are also helping us with our national security. And so oftentimes when we're providing that aid to, uh, for a country, we may be saving uh, a larger amount in terms of what we would have to uh, deal, if, uh, deal with if we, they weren't cooperating with us. So that's part of the reason why I always uh, emphasize our defense budget and our uh, foreign aid budget should be seen as over, uh, an overall package, an overall strategy to keep America safe. Uh, because what we don't want to do is have a situation where certain countries completely collapse, and then the next thing you know, uh, we're having to send our guys in there uh, at huge potential risk and huge cost to taxpayers instead. But it also means when we're providing aid that these countries need to help themselves 
And instead of just giving charity, uh, what, one of the things we're trying to do is to help them develop. So hopefully at some point they become consumers of our goods and services and we can sell stuff uh, into those countries and it helps grow the overall pie uh, and helps create a situation where American businesses are doing better as well. Let's go back to you too, Mr. President, on an issue that's 